There is a hidden gem of a school right here in uh, Scottsdale. It's the International School of Arizona. With me is Jason, who is the headmaster here. Can I say the headmaster? Is that what sure. we call it? Sure, head of school or headmaster, <laughs> either one works. So let's talk about this school because it has been around now for 24 years, going on the 25th anniversary. But what's so great about it is that you're able to give the kids a chance to explore different languages or of course, if they're coming from other countries, be able to use their language to get their education and to learn English here. And that's what this school is all about, right? Yeah, giving the gift of a second language is what we're all about. So International School of Arizona is a school for students 18 months all the way through grade eight. So we call that our early school. So our one-year-olds all the way through our four-year-olds, five-year-olds, and then kindergarten through grade five is our lower school. And then sixth through eighth grade is our middle school. And we're a bilingual immersion school, which means that we don't teach another language, we teach in another language. Wow, and how does that work when you say you teach in another language? Language. that all of our teachers are native speakers of Spanish or French and then of course we have some English teachers because in kindergarten we begin with English instruction as well but uh, all of our teachers teach all day in French or Spanish Wow that, that's I wish I had that when I was growing up I would have been great at all the different languages I was right. trying even English um, that's why I bring in Marley uh, Marlene right yes, hi. how are you doing I'm doing well how so are you? let's talk about this program that uh, Jason just said and that is where the teachers are actually speaking in the languages um, that the students can understand and work and that helps them actually have better understanding of the languages, right? Absolutely. So one of the great advantages of it is that they're actually learning their concepts, learning the vocabulary, learning opportunities to authentically apply what they're learning, constantly immersed in the language. Yeah. And then also our teachers collaborate with their English team to also come in with rigorous, engaging, fun English lessons and so that students are continuing to thrive not just in their target language but also in English. Yeah, and, and with this kind of program it actually helps the kids move further in the careers into the world which you all want people to be able to work together in. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, we just recently had a professor from ASU come to speak about the long-term impacts of multilingualism and the doors that they open. And that's something that we're really passionate about here is opening doors to all kinds of success. And we know that when you are multilingual, not just versed in a few words, but actually able to authentically use those languages in learning settings and in academic settings, you're far more prepared to walk through those open doors. Oh, I like it. And you have two that have walked through the doors here. I'm going to step over this way and talk with Pete and Julia, who are twins, sisters, and friends. Making sure I get that. How are you two? Good. Good. So let's talk about this because you're both from Mexico City. Yeah. You came here when you were young, not really having English as your first language, of course, and you also have French. So how is it coming to school and, and being able to learn English and then, of course, keeping your native tongue and, and of course, another language? It's um, great because you keep... Um, learning all the languages at the same time and you can like speak you, yeah you can, you can speak like to your friends and you like to your family different languages and yeah. it's fun yeah. and also I think what's important too is that you're not being embarrassed to be able to come and speak in the different languages right yeah so it was that kind of hard when you first came here you're a little worried about not knowing English and then all of a sudden realizing that other kids were like you and you were able to communicate and everything, right? Yes. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, look at there. They're great here. And I'll tell you, Jason, this is what it's all about. I mean, just seeing the kids thrive. And as I mentioned, a lot of the students that come here are coming from other countries um, or even just right here in uh, Arizona that want to expand their horizon. And that's what's important, isn't it? Absolutely. So, yeah, we have a balance of families that are kind of born and raised and in the United States or even the Phoenix Scottsdale area and then families that come as expats and and move and transition to the United States and you know what's cool about us is that we welcome everyone and uh, there's a place for everyone and that's really what we're about is really creating that global understanding and we just have that little mini piece of that globe right here at ISA. I like it. I like it. Again, I wish this was when I was growing up. I would have been here in a second. So thank you. How do people find out more about the school? Yeah, you can check our website out at www.isaz.org and reach out to Francis Hewitt, our director, director of admissions and marketing. Perfect. I love it. Thank, thank you. you. Well, thank you, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you, me. ladies. Thank you.